Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be memory planning and this is for the week of April 20th through the 26th and I'm going to be using a super gorgeous kit. I love this one so much. This is from Nikki Plus 3 which is one of my favorite shops for kits and it's in a really pretty rose gold foil. Her foiling quality is amazing. Um, so if you guys haven't checked out her shop already, you definitely need to. So this kit is called Lilac Beauty and it was a February limited edition kit so unfortunately you won't be able to find it in her shop um, but it did come with a set of matching bows and some date dots a weekend banner and some arrows here we have the eight full boxes and some quarter boxes at the bottom that have some rose gold like sprinkles on there on this page we have half boxes we have deco some script stickers flags a three circle checklist and some washi strips here on the side this page also has foiling and we've got the headers, we've got some bow checklists, some functional items, boxes, a bill due, and an appointment label sticker. These are foiled headers, I believe, here on the side and some habit trackers right here. This next page is not foiled and this one just has the full box checklist and some appointment labels at the bottom. And the last page here has the bottom washi, which is two different foiled strips, as you can see. We have a sidebar box, we've got some date covers and four more quarter boxes at the bottom. So one thing I do love about her kits is that she includes tons of boxes to work with. And um, you guys who have watched me for a long time probably know I always use half boxes and quarter boxes every single day in my planning. And so um, I do love kits that come with plenty of options like this one. So yeah, without further ado, I want to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to put down the bottom washi first and then continue to build my spread from there. While I'm putting down the bottom washi, I just wanted to mention that this video is going to be a giveaway video for my leftover stickers. I've collected quite a large stack of leftovers over the last few months, and um, I would love to share that with somebody who might be looking for stickers for their collection. So all you have to do to enter is just comment down below with um, giveaway or giveaway entry, just something that lets me know you are entering um, for the leftover stickers, because I know not everybody wants them, um, so that I know your comment is an entry and and then um, all additional details about the giveaway I'm going to put in the description box below. So make sure you check there if you're interested. Moving back to my spread, I've now placed down the bottom washi and I put the quote box in the top corner of my sidebar. Usually I like to um, complete the sidebar before I move on to the date covers, but for some reason this week I just wanted to place all those date covers down first. I used the date dots that came with the kit and now I'm just going back and completing my sidebar. So the first thing I do is place down a foiled washi strip underneath the full box. Then I used a habit tracker to track my working out, which is something I've been tracking for quite some time. I then used a quarter box and placed down a bow checklist from the kit and that's to mark my happy moments. And then I used the Monday through Sunday box from the kit with the label that was included. Um, and then I closed up the space at the bottom with a washi strip. There was a lot of space left over so I decided to switch out that little label for a thicker quarter box instead so that I could better space out the boxes in the sidebar. For my workouts, I pulled in this shoe sticker from Panda Bird Designs, and then for my happy moments, I used one of those foiled bows that came with the kit. At the bottom for my dinners, I pulled in this rose gold foiled utensil sticker, and that is from Hazel Sticker. Starting on Monday, I first placed down this really gorgeous foiled header that is from Rose Color Days. I then used a piece of deco with this quarantine sticker in my writing that is from Planner Just For You. And I did want to quickly mention that Sophie, who's the owner of Planner Just For You, just gave me a coupon code for you guys to use if you're purchasing our stickers. And the code is going to be SHERRY10 for 10% off your order of $15 or more. So if you're interested in trying out our stickers or making another purchase, make sure you use that coupon for a little additional discount. Continuing with the day, I had put down this half box with this paperclip bow sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. to mark a morning meeting that I had, and then I decided to start from the bottom. So initially, I placed down that three circle checklist um, to make a little checklist at the end of the day, and then above that, I used a to do header and a full box. I ended up switching out that checkbox and used this three bow checklist from the kit instead um, because I wanted to have a little white space at the bottom. In the remaining space, I use this quarter box and these arrow stickers that came with the kit to mark another meeting that I had on Monday. 
For the checklist, I just marked that I filmed, did a voiceover and edited that day because I was working on the collab plan with me with Rachel from Gathered Plans, um, which we uploaded last week. And so I spent a lot of time on Monday to get that video up in time. I also pulled in this really cute planning girl sticker from Paper Bear Co. On Tuesday, I first placed down a to-do header at the very top, then I used a half box with this rose gold foiled IEP flag from J'adore Planning to mark that I had an IEP meeting that morning. We are doing all of our IEP meetings virtually, so um, it's been really interesting. I think it's actually worked out pretty well, all things considered, and um, we're all kind of getting used to this new normal. Um, I decided to remove the to-do header at the top just to save some space, and then I used a full box underneath the half box. I then used an appointment label with a gold foiled bow from Planning Like a Pro to mark that I did a little check-in with a student that day. And then underneath that, I pulled in another bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. to mark an afternoon staff meeting that I had. I used a half box at the very bottom to mark a FaceTime sesh with some of my friends. And then um, in the remaining space, I pulled in another foiled header from Rose Color Days and then a workout time sticker from Planner Just For You. And then that little dumbbell sticker is from Hazel Sticker. For this week, my friends and I decided to dress up as characters from Schitt's Creek, which is a show that we all love watching. And so I dressed up as Alexis, who is my favorite character on that show. I feel like she is my soul sister from another mister. Um, so I was really excited to dress up as her. And to mark that, I used this really cute mascara sticker from Chasing Chels. On Wednesday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom, and then moving to the top, I used a Today header, and then I used a quarter box with this heart sticker that came with the kit to mark a virtual training that I had that morning. The weather was super nice that day, so I decided to do some work out in the sun. Um, I just went out and sat in my backyard, and it was just really nice having a change of scenery for work. Um, to mark that, I layered a bow sticker from the kit on top of one of those functional circles um, that was also from the kit. I then pulled in another foiled header, and again, those are from Rose Color Days, and then I used a half box with another IEP flag from J'adore Planning to mark another IEP meeting I had that day. I then did a workout that evening, so I pulled in this flag sticker, and again, that workout time sticker is in my writing. It's from Planner Just For You. My boyfriend and I did game night with a group of our friends and to mark that I used a quarter box and I found this little phone icon in my leftovers um, stickers book and I thought it matched the kit really perfectly so I pulled that in and then on the full box I used this heart sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I ended up making a drunk midnight snack. Um, I had some really tasty instant noodles and it was perfect for what I needed at that time. Um, then moving to Thursday I first placed down a full box at the very top. Then I used a foiled header with a quarter box and this utensil sticker from Hazel Sticker again to mark what I had for lunch. I pulled in another foiled header and then I used this little checkbox that I had originally put down on Monday and I just used that to mark some things I had to do for work. It was a really, really busy day for work on Thursday and I also pulled in this bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. We finally decided to brave Costco, which is the first time we've gone since quarantine started because we were running out of toilet paper. We only had two rolls left and we were super lucky because they were fully stocked. Um, so we're all good on toilet paper now. And to mark that, I used a gold foiled grocery sticker from Hazel Sticker. At the end of the night, I just relaxed and did a YouTube binge. So I pulled in a piece of deco and layered the YouTube binge sticker from Planner Just For You on top of it. For Friday, I first placed down a foiled header at the top. Um, the IEP flag again is from J'adore Planning. Those were given to me as a gift from a really sweet planner friend. I accidentally wrote the time wrong and so I tried to fix it and that was really hard and ended up like making my writing look terrible, but I just decided to leave it because I didn't want to deal with that anymore. On the quarter box, I used this little laptop sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark that I did a lot of report writing that day. And then I put down this really pretty full box. I think that might be one of my favorites. And I used a bow sticker from Planning Like a Pro just to mark that it was Friday. And um, that is always very exciting. I then pulled in a flag sticker and used another workout time from Planner Just For You. These ones are in the larger size. Then for dinner, we decided to get Thai food for takeout. Um, this was our third time getting takeout since quarantine started. So I feel like it tasted extra amazing just because um, we didn't have to cook the meal. And to mark that, I used another utensil sticker from Hazel Sticker. 
At the end of the night, we did game night with my sister and her roommates. So to mark that, I pulled in this post-it sticker from Hazel Sticker and layered a bow from the kit on top of that. I had some space on the side, so I also pulled in this laptop sticker from Sticker Blush. There was definitely a lot of layering going on right there. Um, but anyways, then moving to the weekend, I first put down a couple strips of the foiled header, and then I pulled in the gorgeous foiled weekend script that came in the kit. I originally used a half box with this arrow sticker and that sleep in pillow sticker is from um, what used to be toffee bananas and it's paper shire now, but I did end up removing it because I didn't have enough space on Saturday to mark everything I wanted. I put down a to-do header with a four bow checklist to mark some things I did that day. And then I used a quarter box and this is where I decided, oh my gosh, I don't have enough space. So I decided to lift up the half box at the very top and move it to the bottom of the day. I used a full box on top of the half box that I had just placed down. And then um, I decided to lift everything up because I just wanted to kind of start over with how I was going to space everything out. I used a quarter box and then um, replaced the heart checklist, or I'm sorry, the bow checklist on top of that. And I did switch out the color of the checklist because I felt like it matched a little bit better with the foiled header that I pulled in. At the very top, I used a third box and pulled in another bow sticker from the kit to mark that I watched a lot of Gilmore Girls that morning. And then um, I filled in the checklist with some places that I had to go to grab some groceries for the week. I had also gotten some boba when I was out, so I used this foiled boba sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that. And then I also wanted to mark that I did a quick workout on Saturday, so I pulled in another shoe sticker from Panda Bird Designs. At the end of the night, we did another game night with a group of friends. Um, I feel like this was a really busy week for game nights. And to mark that, I used this foiled heart from Hazel Sticker. Moving on to Sunday, last but not least, um, I placed down a full box at the very top. Then I used a foiled header with a quarter box and this arrow sticker that came with the kit to mark what I had for lunch that day. We had actually made poke bowls the night before, so we had some leftover fish that we were able to make more bowls out of, and it was absolutely delicious. Um, then I used a half box with a coffee deco from the kit to mark that I watched a ton of Gilmore Girls that afternoon. It was like a really lazy day, um, which was really nice. And then instead of doing a workout we decided to go for a long walk instead um, so I used a foiled header again that's from rose color days and also a quarter box and that shoe sticker is from hazel sticker that was pretty much it for the day and I just had a little bit of space left so I used the sleeping mask sticker I think that's from white deer stationery um, just to mark that it was a really lazy night um, that evening I went back to my checklist on Saturday and just filled in something else because there was um, just a little extra room and I also did go to the post office so I thought I would just add that into the checklist and that is pretty much it for this week. So now I'm just going back to my sidebar and filling out my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners which I always do at the very end and now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in the kit. Here is a vid wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that I got to pull in. I have been slowly adding to my collection of rose gold foil, um, so I was definitely able to pull in quite a lot of foiled goodies this week, and I think it turned out so beautiful. Um, here is a little walkthrough of the spread so you guys can see how it turned out and just see some of those little details a bit better. And yeah, that is going to be it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really had so much fun putting this together because um, for some reason, purple spreads in my planner just always looks so beautiful and end up being some of my favorites and this one was definitely no exception i just love how this turned out um, please remember that this is a giveaway video so if you would like to enter for a chance to win some leftover stickers please be sure to leave your comment down below as an entry um, it will be open internationally and i'm going to leave it running for one week uh, from the time that i upload this video so anyways more details in the description box if you're interested please look down there and yeah thank you guys so so much for joining me today and for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you are all doing well wherever you are, staying healthy and safe and staying sane, of course. And yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!